Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jackie and I'm here to teach you American English. Unless you're staying in a big city like New York City, most places in America require driving. We drive a ton. And today I'll teach you some funny driving words and phrases we use in daily conversation. Learn these and you'll sound like a native. Are you ready? Let's start. A lemon. If you bought a new car and you're having lots of trouble with it, most likely you bought a lemon. And we actually have a lemon law where you could have protection and get your money back if you happen to purchase a lemon. A lemon. A lemon. A lemon. I bought a lemon from this car dealer. I will not recommend them. I bought a lemon from this car dealer. I will not recommend them. Rush hour. I think most of you know the term because of Jackie Chan's and Chris Tucker's movie. <laughs> Rush hour. Rush hour. Rush hour. I gotta run to avoid rush hour. I gotta run to avoid rush hour. Traffic jam. This means there are a lot of cars on the road and they're moving very slowly. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. Traffic jam. The snowstorm caused a severe traffic jam in the city. The snowstorm caused a severe traffic jam in the city. Bumper to bumper. A bumper is the horizontal bar across the front and back of the car. Bumper to bumper means cars are very close to each other and not really moving. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Bumper to bumper. Avoid the freeway. The traffic is bumper to bumper because of the rain. Avoid the freeway. The traffic is bumper to bumper because of the rain. Complete standstill. This means that traffic is not moving at all. Complete standstill. Complete stand still. Complete standstill. We're at a complete standstill due to a fatal collision. We're at a complete standstill due to a fatal collision. Backseat driver. This means a passenger in the car who gives the driver unwanted advice. Have you ever been a backseat driver? I know I have. It's not a very good thing to do because it makes the driver very angry and distracted. Backseat driver. Backseat driver. Backseat driver. 
Can you stop being a backseat driver? It's very distracting. Can you stop being a backseat driver? It's very distracting. Cut somebody off. This means to drive your car into the lane next to you directly in front of a car. This is very irritating for that driver and can cause an accident. Cut somebody off. Cut somebody off. Cut somebody off. Did you see that? That guy just cut me off. Did you see that? That guy just cut me off. Tailgate. Tailgate is a hinged flap on the back of a truck that can be lowered or removed when loading or unloading the vehicle. Here, it means to drive too closely behind another vehicle. Tailgate. 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 Stop tailgating the car in front of you. Stop tailgating the car in front of you. Road rage. This means you get very upset while driving and probably use some bad words and gestures. Let's hope you don't have road rage. Road rage. Road rage. Road rage. Your road rage is scaring me. Want me to drive instead? Your road rage is scaring me. Want me to drive instead? Next, let's talk about some phrases related to accidents. Fender bender. A fender is the bumper. Fender bender means a minor accident, usually at a slow speed in a parking lot or rolling to a stop. Nothing serious. Fender bender. Fender bender. Fender bender. He got into a fender bender because he was on his phone. He got into a fender bender because he was on his phone. Get T-boned. T-bone usually is a type of steak that you can order at a restaurant. Here, it means a car was hit on the side usually caused by someone running a red light. This is a more serious accident. Get T-boned. Get T-boned. Get T-boned. His truck got T-boned because he didn't stop at the stop sign. His truck got T-boned because he didn't stop at the stop sign. Totaled. This term is used by insurance companies. It means the estimated cost of the repair is more than the cost of the vehicle. Usually the insurance company will just write you a check for the cost of the vehicle. My first car was totaled and I was heartbroken. Notice the second T sounds more like a D, totaled, 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 
totaled. My car got totaled last night in the accident. My car got totaled last night in the accident. Pull over. There's two meanings. You can pull over somewhere, which means you stop somewhere, or you can get pulled over by the police. If that's the case, you'll likely get a ticket. I'm curious, have you ever gotten a ticket? I got one speeding ticket back in college. I'm hoping that's the only one I get. Pull over. Pull over. Pull over. Can you pull over? I think the trunk isn't closed properly. Can you pull over? I think the trunk isn't closed properly. You better slow down or you're gonna get pulled over. You better slow down or you're gonna get pulled over. Roadkill. This is an animal that has been struck and killed by a car. Roadkill. Road kill. Road kill. There is a ton of road kill on Highway 101. There is a ton of road kill on Highway 101. Shoulder. This is the emergency lane on the side of the road. Shoulder. 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 You can't drive on the shoulder. It's for emergency vehicles only. You can't drive on the shoulder. It's for emergency vehicles only. Carpool. We have carpool lanes in California, which are lanes only for cars with more than one person. We can also use carpool as a verb to mean sharing a ride with someone. Carpool. 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 Can I carpool with you to the party? I want to have a drink. Can I carpool with you to the party? I want to have a drink. Drive through. This is a type of takeout service provided by a business that allows customers to purchase products without leaving their cars. During the pandemic, government offices even offered drive through services. You can't get more American than drive throughs drive through drive through drive through There's always a huge line for the Starbucks drive through in the morning. There's always a huge line for the Starbucks drive through in the morning. Pit stop. A true pit stop is when a driver is in an auto race and they stop in the pit for repairs. For most of us, it means a short stop that you make during a road trip to take a break. Pit stop. Pit stop. Pit stop. I need to make a pit stop to use the bathroom. I 
I need to make a pit stop to use the bathroom. All right, that's it for today. Let me know what you think of this video in the comment section and make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Take care everyone. Zai Jian.